Hey, I'm Evan, head of engineering for RM Stator. Today we're going to show you our new uh, bypass series regulator kit for the Suzuki DRZ400 and the KLX, uh, Kawasaki KLX400 motorcycles. So these are great uh, dual sport dirt bikes, they're very popular. Um, they do not have a great charging system. And uh, the main problem with these has always been the undersized voltage regulator. I think the stator is pretty good uh, and fairly reliable, but the voltage regulator is tiny and was very undersized for the charging system. So we have a new kit to let you use your original stator and to use a new uh, series type voltage regulator, which is great for, for prolonging the life of the stator, along with a harness, the harness plugs directly into your stator connector for the charging output and then connects with ring terminals directly to your battery. So we call it a bypass harness because it bypasses the uh, factory wiring on the vehicle. So on the DRZ, you ended up with a lot of wire connecting the stator to the vehicle's harness and then the vehicle's harness to the regulator. So you ended up with feet and feet of extra wire on the bike and extra connections that can fail, especially as these bikes get old. So we go to our bypass kit, we go straight out of the stator, straight into the regulator, and then directly out to the battery. There's a pretty common modification on these bikes that I, I think is called the free power mod, and that basically is to directly hardwire the uh, regulator to the battery and bypass the vehicle wiring and we're making it really easy for you with this kit. So we have a DRZ400 here that we used to prototype this and test on, and I wanna show you how we installed it and give you some ideas. The DRZ does not have a lot of options and space for mounting a larger voltage regulator, so it's really up to you how and where you'd like to put it. Some bikes have racks, you can mount it on your tail rack or lots of various places if you want to make a bracket or something so we don't want to tell you exactly where you have to put it but we're going to show you a great location and how we did it on this bike and we've been testing it on this bike we've run it uh, through the mountains down here in Colorado uh, the Alpine Loop Road so this bike's really been used hard to test this kit and it works excellent so we're going to bring the camera in here in just a second and we'll show you how we did it here to give you some ideas okay so we'll start with showing you where the regulator is mounted this was a great location, um, as long as you don't mind doing a little bit of work uh, to drill through your air box. So we mounted the regulator here on the right side of the air box and it fits completely behind your side cover. So you saw earlier when I had the side cover installed, it uh, will absolutely fit here. Side cover's got enough of a bulge that it'll go over the regulator. Now it is a tight fit and the regulator will rub a little bit on the side cover, but doesn't hurt anything and it lets you mount the regulator in a nice location to not get super wet and muddy. I mean clearly you get some in here but it's not horrible. Um, so we put it right here kind of against the uh, the flap here that seals the exhaust and fender area away from the airbox. Um, mounted the regulator uh, with uh, hardware directly through the airbox with a nut and washer on the inside and we sealed both of the holes with some black RTV silicone. So there's no uh, water or dirt or anything getting into the airbox, but this makes for a really nice installation location. Um, you can see the harness is routed here underneath the frame and runs up here. So we're gonna turn the bike around and then we'll show you on the other side how to connect everything. Okay, so here we are on the left side of the bike. You can see our harness routing along here, along the frame. So the stator connector runs right here. We have the stator connector coming up here from the stator and then it's plugged directly into our harness with a mating connector. Uh, then we run up along here. Our battery connections come out of the harness and go straight over directly to the battery terminals. So that setup lets you bypass all the vehicle's wiring and makes for a really nice upgrade on the DRZ400.